Oh, Ricky May, oh, rinse and repeat, uh, copy and paste. Very similar to last season, that there one, especially first half. Yeah, first half. I mean, I've banged on about Brighton numerous times on the different shows that we've been on, and I think they're a really good side. Their manager's superb. I'm not surprised that they played so well. Uh, I know this is supposed to be about us, but uh, I'm not surprised one little bit. They played some great football, Brighton, and were easily the better side in the first half. And you know, we often puffed a bit in the second half and could have got some out of it in the end. But overall, I thought they were deserved winners. Yeah, you said there, mate, in terms of Brighton playing well. That's a team that is well oiled and well drilled in the system that they're playing. Was that the case for us, but the opposite in terms of we just aren't ready in this system. It's going to take a little bit longer for this Ten Hag style of football to come across because we did look lost in that first half a bit. Yeah, we look, we did look, look lost. Uh, I'm not too sure. I, I, I put an Instagram post out just not long before the game where uh, I said that I thought Ronaldo should have started and I've got my reasons behind that. Not just that Ronaldo's Ronaldo, but you do need a number nine, a focal point. And I know he's only got, uh, people were saying during the week, he's only got 45 minutes in his legs. This is exactly what I said on the, on the post. Um, you need, you need to be trying to chase a goal. I said, don't be bringing him on. This was something in the comments, by the way, but I'll put it in the comments because somebody said, uh, bring him on against uh, uh, fresh legs against tired legs later on. And I said there and then, yeah, but we're probably chasing the game then. We're probably chasing an equaliser. Why not play him when we're trying to take the lead? Why not let's be desperate for a goal? If, you, if a chance is going to fall to someone, you want it to fall to Ronaldo. Even if he only lasts 45 minutes or an hour. I said this before the game, this isn't hindsight. I actually said, we'll be chasing the game, we'll be behind. Let's try and take the lead instead of trying to equalise. I thought Ronaldo should have started. And you know, and then Ericsson a little bit deeper, maybe in Fred's place. You know my thoughts, in Bruno's place. With, we try to fit too many square pegs into round holes again. It's happening again. Bruno and Ericsson are both so similar. So similar. And he's trying to fit them both in the team. Now that he's subbed Fred today after, what, an hour? Uh, I dropped Ericsson a little bit deeper. Maybe next week he, he, might, he might play Ericsson in Fred's place and keep Bruno at 10. But I'd play Ericsson or Van der Beek. But I thought Van der Beek was a breath of fresh air when he came on, by the way. Little touches. There was, a, there was a little header in the box that he flicked on straight to Sancho. He knew where he was. You know, he's just, he's just bright and alert. And, it's, it, and things can happen by having bright, alert players who give those, those quick, easy balls. Yeah, you mentioned it there. There is options that we can go forward with with Brentford. McTominay as well was poor today. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fred, that combination is what the big issue is with a lot of United fans there. The shape that he's going to play with one holding midfielder, would that be a baller for you or that sort of man who's going to break things up? Do we need the man who's going to break things yeah. up? Or, yeah. This is why I think he's looking at De Jong. I think De Jong is probably going to be looking at that position there. That's key to this system, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. He's desperate to sign De Jong and De Jong to me would be a replacement for Fred. I'm still not convinced. I mean, De Jong's, De Jong's a good ball carrier and he's a great passer of the ball. I'm still not convinced you can play without a defensive player. A lot of people are saying, I've, I've seen people on TV saying we need that holding player and De Jong's that man. De Jong can do that job, but why? When you've got such a good passer of the ball who's great at carrying it forwards, you need someone who's going to hold the fort if he's going to do that. Do you understand what I mean? We, 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 we've de we're continually trying to play too many attacking players. Ollie was the same. And for me, uh, well, he played back Tom and Ian Fred today, so I'll let him off with that. But but if he's going to get De Jong, he still needs, I'm going to say Matt Tomini or Fred, but for me, Matt Tomini's twice the player Fred. His Fred's not strong enough. He's just not, he's just not good enough. I'm not saying Matt Tomini's, uh, Matt Tomini's not Perlo, but he's like Perlo compared to Fred, in my opinion. You need, you need, a, you need that player, a little bit of steel, little bit of height he can win headers he needs he needs to be the holder even if we get De Jong and if we don't get De Jong then maybe Ericsson next to him with either Bruno or Van der Beek at 10 and Van der, Van der Beek's got to get a chance he's got to get a chance in that role in a full strength team not in, not in a league cup tie when it's all other kids playing and youngsters and one or two reserve players or whoever plays in a league cup team. tie yeah he's got to get a chance in that role in the best team that's it. Looking forward to Brentford. Tough game, mate. Mm. Are you are you making many changes for that game now? Are you looking ahead and going, right, 
Ronaldo has to start if Martial's not fit. But, That's a definite. Yeah. Are we bringing Van der Beek yeah. in the role, like you said there? Does Ericsson yeah. drop deeper? Mm. I mean, there's a lot to change around there. But defensive-wise today, I just need to ask you quickly, first of all, happy with that? Martinez and Maguire, is that a combination that you would go with a forward this season? Yeah, they won't be hypercritical. I don't think Maguire was great again. Martinez looks a good, a really good player. Uh, I think he's going to get caught out once or twice. He got put today because he, he was trying to overplay. I think he is a player who's going to overplay a little bit. No, you know, not not criticising him. Nobody's perfect, but he's a top class top class player on the ball without a doubt. But I'd, I'd stick with the same back four. I'd go with McTominay and Eriksson in the middle. I'd go with Van der Beek at ten. And I'd go with Sancho on the right, Alanga on the left, and Ronaldo at nine. And, I'm, and that's that's. I'm going with that squad. I'm assuming Marshall's not fit. Nobody else I can think of who's injured who could come into it. I think that team is a much more solid outfit, much more solid. That's it, mate. Rick, uh, it is a disappointing start to the season. We roll on to Brentford. Cheers for coming on, talking to us again. No mate, problem. Sir. Thanks, mate.